I think it's great news because all the 15 projects that was considering for the board meeting have been approved. I'm very happy to say that four of the IEU items were considered for the provisional agenda of the 28th uh, board meeting of the GCF, and that is the 2020 annual report of the IEU, the performance review um, of the GCF for the GCF1 programming period, the evaluation policy of the GCF, as well as the IEU evaluations. The mandate of the IU is to inform the decision making of the board. If you listen to the discussions of the board at B28, one finds that the board is making frequent references to the analysis and the evidence produced by the IU. For instance, in many discussions at, the, at B28, the board, board members made references to IU reports on the, on the independent assessments of the SAT process, as well as the synthesis on the accreditation. To use the recommendations from the independent uh, uh, assessment of the, of the pilot of the SAP presented in B25. We first want to thank uh, the IEU for the review of the SAP. I would like to echo uh, Matthew, Matthew uh, for uh, the, the review done by IEU with regard to the SAP. More and more board members, uh, they acknowledge the usefulness of the IEU's evaluations. Although this SAP evaluation itself uh, was not opened during the board meeting for an in-depth discussion, I could see that the findings and recommendations of this evaluation were integrated in all parts of the related discussions during the board meeting. So this shows us how successful the IEU has been in engaging with the stakeholders of the GCF ecosystem, the Secretariat, the wider board, all of that prior to B28. Uh, it benefited also from uh, the independent assessment of the IEU that was published in June 2020. Thanks, uh, uh, Jean-Christophe, and to the IEU, to the Secretariat, and indeed to you, co-chairs, for holding a technical session on this subject recently. Ahead of B28, the, the co-chairs organised a consultation with board members, alternate board members and advisors to discuss the four outstanding evaluations undertaken by the IEU. This all provided us, the IU, an opportunity to share the information in these evaluations, to discuss the evidence, and really to inform the decision-making of the board. We've held many uh, webinars and virtual side events so that the board members, advisors, CSOs and PSOs, AEs, they could attend our events and learn about uh, what we've discovered in our evaluations. So board members have shown great interest in the work of the IU through the appointment of a new head, as well as the terms of reference. The terms of reference approved at BO6 are indeed the foundation of our work here at the IU. They're not only here to talk about the objectives of the IU derived from the governing instrument, they are also describing the types of evaluations we do, the evaluation criteria that should be applied, and lastly, the knowledge management, as well as the advisory capacity building mandate of the IU. Some of these aspects are referring to the board documents that we submitted for B28. So for instance, the evaluation policy. And the evaluation policy describes in greater detail the rules and responsibilities of the GCF Secretariat, the IEU, as well as the accredited entities. Ahead of B28, we organized a technical session on the evaluation policy. We received written comments and written feedback from members of the board, and we revised the, revised the draft and shared it in time for B28. So by doing the research on these different projects, allow me to have a better understanding of what's going on in a board meeting, understanding better what was the outcome and what could be uh, the interest of the different countries, the different board member. I really enjoy watching it. <laughs>